Guys, that was hot. Please show some love to our legend, Vintage Culture. More noise, guys. Thank you so much. It was magical. The music is not over because our artistic director, Phil, is taking back. Please make some noise for him. We are live, yeah. We're Thank live? you very Sorry. much, guys, for for watching. Um, I'm just taking these few seconds to relax because it was very emotional, very magical. And I imagine for you it's very special because you're playing in your own country, in, like in front of this Bro, crazy museum. This is so beautiful. Man. Uh, for me, it's like a huge pleasure at first because I'm a huge fan of Sir Claire. Oh, thank you, man. Uh, I watch you guys like since forever and play here in my home country with my people. Uh, for me, it's a pleasure. And I think it was like one of the happiest days of my life. Oh, really? I prepare myself for this like for, for weeks, for months. And I'm so, so happy that all went well. And yeah, everything yeah, yeah. went so well. The weather <laughs> the was perfect. Was so crazy, bro. Totally crazy. 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 And what does this museum represent for you as, as bro, a Brazilian? Uh, this, this describes Brazil because uh, the people outside Brazil, they have like a other picture for our country. And this uh, represents like the architecture uh, and the talents that we have in Brazil. And... Uh, It's not, Brazil is not only a jungle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> It's a beautiful country, I love this place. And we have like this. <laughs> Watch out because otherwise people won't hear you. Yeah, it's crazy. And what's crazy is that this museum is called Museum of Tomorrow, Museo do Amanha. Yeah. And your name... Museo do Amanha. Do Amanha. Sorry for my, <laughs> my accent. And your, your name as, a, as an artist is Vintage Culture. So yeah. it's, it's funny. It's yeah. a fun fact. It's crazy. It's crazy, <laughs> it's crazy that you, also we have a track called Amanha exactly. coming on Circle. Exactly. Uh, Very that's soon. a surprise. <laughs> but, but we will talk about this track later. Why? And there was a lot of questions on the online audience oh, about really? that. Um, why did you choose this particular name? Uh, vintage culture. Uh, this is a tough one. Uh, so when I was a kid, uh, I used to love the old music. Okay. Like old, very old music, and I started to do remixes just for fun. Doing remixes and not not for playing, not DJing, only producing. And then I decided I have to choose a name for for start to DJ, mm. and that came into my mind, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. I see. <laughs> And tonight it was more one. modern culture, right? <laughs> <laughs> But you, you were speaking uh, about Amania, which is uh, a track that uh, you played uh, yeah. tonight, that you, you produced specially for this show. Yeah, I did for Sir Claire, especially. It's, it's, yeah. it's a banger, it's an amazing exactly. track. But it's also a bit different from what you usually produce. Exactly. Uh, um, like, in this last year of the pandemic, I moved. So I, uh, I went to live in Miami. Uh, I've been touring Europe, so I see so many, so many different like tracks and styles of music, and I am changing. Like it's like natural with life. So yes, I have Amanya. I have like a lot of more. I play like today. Like I played, I think uh, six or seven new ones. Oh, nice. That like brand new IDs. So yes. So you you were. Uh, you think that you are moving to this direction of kind I'm, of music? I'm moving smoothly, smoothly, okay. because I have to respect also my fans that like help like build my career until here. So I'm building. Mm. Let's see what happens. And you were speaking about your fans, and I let you really think about this question. But what if your fans tomorrow or the crowd disappears, and you you don't have any crowd? Will you still make music? Yes, I still make music. But not live streams. <laughs> live stream. <laughs> Only for no Sir Club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only for you guys. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> uh, there was also a lot of other questions on the online audience, and a lot of questions came from your set from yesterday, man. It's oh, crazy. Yes. You play. I, I need to tell to everyone. <laughs> you played during 24 hours yeah. straight. This is yesterday. crazy. Yeah. 
I, I, I played for 24 fucking hours. Sorry for the, the curse. <laughs> Is, yes. Was the first time you did this? Uh, not in the, in the pandemic. I did in my house, like live streams, 50 hours playing. But it's, it's different to hold the crowd yeah. for 24 hours. It's, it's like different. So I prepare myself, like I said, for one month. Because for me, the, the, like, the major challenge was not play 24 hours. It was be good to be here today. Exactly. Because it's a fucking live stream <laughs> for the whole world. So it's crazy because you, you play 24 hours, but you, you play more than this because now you're here. So it's, <laughs> exactly. it's like if you're, you're playing 36 hours, you know? I, I, I saw the, on the internet so like <laughs> people saying, nah, you're going to be dead tomorrow. You're going to yeah, look yeah, like exactly. shit. And I say, I have a plan. Don't you worry. <laughs> Perfect. And so a lot of questions from this set, 24 hours marathon set. What was your main uh, motivation? What is your main motivation to play during so long? Uh, I think it's, it's about playing the music that I love mm. and about my fans. Because they were there for the 20, for the 24 hours. It's crazy to hold a People crowd like that. 24. They stayed. It's crazy. And I, I did for them. And also to play the music that I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. And um, a question from Leonardo Lavagnin, because playing 24 hours, you're uh, like very, very, you're doing so much things. You're very, like you're, uh, how, how can I say in English? Like you're, uh, uh, you do so many things. And a question from him is how you reconcile personal life with DJ life? Uh, so like after this, after these days, like tough days, <laughs> happy days, but tough days, I just, I want my dog and my bed and I stay there for a whole week and just waiting relax. for the next weekend. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. But yeah, I, I need a week, I, I, like five days and I'm, I'm ready to go. Yeah. If I do like what I love, play music that I love, I don't get tired. That's crazy. That's it. And so, yeah, you, you're, you also own a, a festival, right? A, a huge yes. festival in Brazil, uh, Sotrack Ball. Sotrack Ball, yes. It's, it's crazy as well. Is, this, is there one dream that you didn't achieve yet? I had, but I achieved, but it's a secret. Oh. I, I, can, I can't tell yet. Oh, okay, you're teasing. It's okay, a secret, okay. we'll it's see. a secret, guys. <laughs> okay, and a question from Danny Yurkuyomd. Uh, do you have, other than producing and DJing, do you, ha do you have other passions in life? Uh, man, I love my dog. I love What my mom, my family. It? I have a corgi. Oh, nice. So, <laughs> it's yes. very cute. So when you like get home and you see like the dog, it's like a, your child. Mm -hmm. So you like embrace and he cleans all the energy. It's, mm -hmm. So for me, that, that's it. My family and my dog. And I, and I love music. So basically I, I never stop. <laughs> and did you bring your dog at one of your gigs? Uh, yes, yeah. he was living with me in Miami. Really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, we have a lot of like this is a random question, but you, you, we have a lot of debate um, in our office about using smartphones in the crowd. You know, a lot of people using smartphones. Some people uh, say that we should forbid them. Some people say that we, sh we shouldn't. What is your position on this? Uh, so we, we live in a new world right now, and that's the the new normal. So it's like. I don't know, man. Uh, you, you guys built such a beautiful thing, and the people they, they want to record that, like to make to be with them forever. So we should not take that, like because they are only here for shooting or filming. They are here because they want to like keep that forever with them. Yeah, their freedom. Yeah. yeah. So that's my opinion. But personally, I would love more if like they come like to be crazy and yeah, not cell phones. Yeah, but we have to. Uh, We have to like comprehend. It's a new word. Yeah. It's a new word. I see. Well, um, we have a little tradition here at Circle. It's the mystery box, a little gift that we will offer. Okay. Um, and here it is. Okay, it's a big box. <laughs> oh, I know this. <laughs> so you have two gifts. One from the museum. It's it's a this? small okay. a souvenir where you have this statue. I hope you will yeah, have it in uh, your studio. It's, it's like the plant. Amazing. Exactly. And a little gift from us. 
which is... I know this, bro. <laughs> Our last uh, vinyl this compilation. Is, this is Who Made Who, right? Yeah, exactly. Just, and you can... Yeah. You have the, the two yeah, vinyl. It's yeah. the first... time. Uh, my decks. And I'm waiting for my... Amanya. Exactly. <laughs> Hopefully very soon. Don't forget about that. <laughs> Man, it was uh, such an honor to have you. And uh, I wanted also to uh, thank all the team. Like, we have a huge team here um, for, for this for this amazing project. You guys, you, you guys are amazing. Um, what you guys, like did it here in Brazil is is super special and you guys are keep it doing it so I just have to congratulate you guys and be thankful to you guys have me here because I have time of my life here oh, today. That's thank so you. Cool. Thank I'm you, so man. happy to hear that. Thank man. you. And thank you very much to our team, Synthes Agency. Thank you, team. Um, also, Luca, Gabriel, everyone that works uh, that worked today Adel for Luca. this show. Thank you, Heineken, as well, <laughs> for their support. Thank you to the Museum of Amania uh, of tomorrow to um, trust us in this project. And uh, I, we hope to see you soon in Brazil again. Yes. Uh, see you guys. Bye-bye. See you guys. Thank you. Obrigado. Obrigado. <laughs>